I like your quote about the Tigers haven't had, Tiger fans haven't had to deal with a trade where you're taking the maybe, that you're taking the potential. You're taking the young guy who's unproven uh, on the major league level and believing that it's going to happen down the road. Uh, and you said you've done deals like that elsewhere, just hadn't done that many in Detroit. How much selling like that do you have to continue to do? Well, I'm sure we're going to have to talk a bunch about it. We're talking about two guys who perform very well for us. They're the, I think any time you deal the known for the unknown, you're going to be in a position where you take criticism. It's part of it. Done it many, many times. But if you get good young players, people will soon gravitate towards them. And we have acquired some good young players. I'm sure we're going to have to continue to talk about it, but I'm also aware that it's not going to happen the first day because we talked about it when one guy in Curtis Granderson who has done so much for the community and is a quality individual that they've known for a long time. Edwin Jackson only for a year but also a quality individual that pitched very well for us. So they're not going to easily be forgotten but I do think that these young players will help uh, be in a position where the transition will be a little bit smoother. Do you feel by making this trade all of a sudden the White Sox and the Twins become either even or maybe move ahead a little bit? Well, I, I'm not so sure. They were probably even in my own mind beforehand. We have a very easy, evenly balanced division. The Twins always seem to get overlooked, and yet they always seem to win year in and year out. The White Sox, with their starting rotation in particular, you know they're going to be tough. And so for us, I think we can transition these guys in well and still play. We'll, we'll be a club. We struggled to score runs last year and we still were there. I don't think we'll take a big step back from the starting pitching perspective when you add Scherzer to the rotation in place of Jackson. Porcello will have another year under his belt. Plus, we believe that we'll get Jeremy Bonderman back and be healthy this year. So if we do that, that that'll also help us a great deal. So we think we can, can work these guys in and still be in a position we can compete. Dave, how much of this is money generated that you needed to trim the payroll some? Well, we would not have made the moves if we didn't feel comfortable with the players that we acquired and the deals we made. We were prepared to, to move forward. We have an owner that's tremendous in that regard. But you also have to be realistic in your own situation and say, okay, some, some adjustments need to be made. And so for us, there were very few places that adjustments could be made. But when you look past the 2010 season and towards 2011, it allows us to break in some more young players, put a foundation, and we still have players like Miguel Cabrera and Justin Verlin there, Magli Ardonias, Carlos Gann. We still have some good players on our ball club at this time, breaking these young players in, being in a position at the end of 2010, we have a bunch of payroll that comes off our roster, and we'll be in a position where we can compete and have a very solid payroll, particularly for our division. But we're in a position, we just this was the year we, we needed to do it.